Welcome to the Al Jazeera channel where you will learn inventory management as a core operations management activity. After learning the basic economic order quantity model, let us solve some problems. A food processor uses approximately 25,000 glass jars a month for its fruit juice product. Because of storage limitations, a lot size of 6,000 jars has been used. Monthly holding cost is 5 cents per jar, and reordering cost is $100 per order. The company operates an average of 20 days a month. What penalty is the company incurring by its present order size? The manager would prefer ordering 5 times each month but would have to justify any change in order size. One possibility is to simplify order processing to reduce the ordering cost. What ordering cost would enable the manager to justify ordering every 4 days, i.e., 5 times a month? The given R. The monthly demand D equal 25,000 jars, the order quantity Q equals 6,000 jars, the carrying cost H equals 5 cents, and the order cost S equals $100. To know the penalty the company is incurring by its present order size, we have to calculate the total cost corresponding to the current order quantity Q and compare it with the total cost corresponding to the economic order quantity Q0. We know that TC equals Q multiplied by H divided by 2 plus D multiplied by S divided by Q. Substitute by the given values. TC 6000 equals 6000 multiplied by 0 0.05 divided by 2 plus 25000 multiplied by 100 divided by 6000 equal 150 plus 416.7 equals $566.70. The next step is to calculate the economic order quantity Q0. We know that EOQ or Q0 equals the square root of 2 multiplied by D multiplied by S divided by H. Substitute by the given values so Q0 equals the square root of 2 multiplied by 25,000 multiplied by 100 divided by 0 0.05 equal 10,000 jars. Now calculate the total cost corresponding to the economic order quantity Q0. TC 10,000 equals 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.05 divided by 2 plus 25,000 multiplied by 100 divided by 10,000 equal 250 plus 250 equals $500. Comparing the total cost corresponding to the current order quantity Q and the total cost corresponding to the economic order quantity Q0. Total cost corresponding to the current order quantity Q is more than that corresponding to Q0 by $66.70. So, the penalty the company incurring by its present order size is $66.70 per month. For the second question, to find the ordering cost that would enable the manager to justify ordering every 4 days, we have to solve the total cost equation to find S using TC equals TC 6000 and Q equals 5000 as the monthly demand equal 25000 and the number of orders is 5. So, 566.7 equals 5000 multiplied by 0 0.05 divided by 2 plus 25000 multiplied by S divided by 5000. Solving this equation results in S equals $88.34. So, the ordering cost would enable the manager to justify ordering 5 times a month as $88.34. Another problem. A manager receives a forecast for next year. Demand is projected to be 600 units for the first half of the year and 900 units for the second half. The monthly holding cost is $2 per unit, and it costs an estimated $55 to process an order. Assuming that monthly demand will be level during each of the six-month periods covered by the forecast, example 100 per month for each of the first six months, determine an order size that will minimize the sum of ordering and carrying costs for each of the six-month periods. Why is it important to be able to assume that demand will be level during each six-month period? If the vendor is willing to offer a discount of $10 per order for ordering in multiples of 50 units, example 50, 100, 150, would you advise the manager to take advantage of the offer in either period? If so, what order size would you recommend? The given are. Demand is projected for the first half of the year to be D1 equals 600 units and for the second half D2 equals 900 units. The monthly holding cost is H equals $2 per unit per month, and the order cost S equals $55 per order. Note, we will solve this problem using months rather than a year, as the period. 
For the first question, starting by the first six month period. The monthly demand D1 equals 600 divided by 6 equals 100 units. It is known that Q0 equals square root of 2 multiplied by D1 multiplied by S divided by H. This equals square root of 2 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 55 divided by 2 equals 74.16 approximately equals 74 units. So, the economic order quantity for the first 6 months is 74 units. For the second 6 month period. The monthly demand D2 equals 900 divided by 6 equals 150 units. And Q0 equals square root of 2 multiplied by D2 multiplied by S divided by H. This equals square root of 2 multiplied by 150 multiplied by 55 divided by 2 equal 90.83 approximately equal 91 units. So, the economic order quantity for the second 6 months is 91 units. The second question is, why is it important to be able to assume that demand will be level during each 6 month period? The answer is, because we can use the economic order quantity only if demand is level or stable. The last question is if the vendor is willing to offer a discount of $10 per order for ordering in multiples of 50 units, example 50, 100, 150, would you advise the manager to take advantage of the offer in either 6 month period? If so, what order size would you recommend? To solve this question, we have to calculate the total cost corresponding to Q0, 50, 100, and 150 for each period and select the quantity that give minimum total cost. Generally, the total cost TC equals Q multiplied by H divided by 2 plus D multiplied by S divided by Q. For the first six month period, the monthly total cost corresponding to Q0 equals 74 is. TC 74 equals 74 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 plus 100 multiplied by 55 divided by 74 equal $148.32. With discount of $10, S equals $55 minus $10 equals $45. So, the monthly total cost corresponding to Q equals 50 is. TC 50 equals 50 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 plus 100 multiplied by 45 divided by 50 equal $140. The monthly total cost corresponding to Q equals 100 is. TC 100 equals 100 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 plus 100 multiplied by 45 divided by 100 equal $145. And the monthly total cost corresponding to Q equals 150 is. TC 150 equals 150 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 plus 100 multiplied by 45 divided by 150 equal $180. As the total cost at quantity equal to 50 unit has the minimum value. So, for the first period the question answer is yes, the manager should take advantage of the offer and order Q equals 50 units during this 6 month period. For the second 6 month period. The monthly total cost corresponding to Q0 equals 91 is. TC 91 equals 91 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 plus 150 multiplied by 55 divided by 91 equal $181.66. With discount of $10, S equals $55 minus $10 equals $45. So, the monthly total cost corresponding to Q equals 50 is. TC 50 equals 50 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 plus 150 multiplied by 45 divided by 50 equal $185. The monthly total cost corresponding to Q equals 100 is. TC 100 equals 100 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 plus 150 multiplied by 45 divided by 100 equal $167.50. And the monthly total cost corresponding to Q equals 150 is. TC 150 equals 150 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 plus 150 multiplied by 45 divided by 150 equal $195. As the total cost at quantity equal to 100 unit has the minimum value. So, for the second period the question answer is yes. The manager should take advantage of the offer and order Q equals 100 units during this 6 month period.
Here two problems are solved as application of the basic economic order quantity model. If you need more details or more solved problem do not hesitate to contact me. If you like this video so press like and share it and do not forget to subscribe to the Al Jazeera channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. See you again.